The safe, uh, third paper of this section will give by Dr. Anton. Dr. Anton received his her PhD degree in engineering, uh, engineering mechanics from the Beijing University of Technology, Beijing, China. Dr. Tong is currently an associate professor with Institute of Electronics, Packaging Technology and Reliability, Beijing University of Technology. Her current research interests include reliability of power semiconductor devices, thermal mechanical modeling, value mechanism of electronic packaging and micro and macro mechanical behavior of packaging material. The topic for the paper is thermal mechanical reliability of IGBT power electronic packaging. Um, good afternoon, everyone. I would like to thank you for giving me this opportunity to speak at this meeting. It is very great pleasure indeed for me to be able to exchange with so many outstanding researchers. Uh, my name is Tong An. Um, I work in the Institute of Electronic Packaging Technology and Reliability, Beijing University of Technology. Uh, my presentation will cover the following aspects. First, I'd like to briefly introduce our institute. Um, Institute of Electronic Packaging Technology and Reliability was founded in 2006. Uh, we are a very young research group. Uh, now we have uh, seven full-time teaching staff, uh, 31 postgraduate students. Um, the research institute combines uh, the one, advanced electronic packaging technology and adopts mechanical experiments, uh, theor theoretical analysis, and numerical simulation to solve the reliability problems of electronic packaging design, manufacturing, and uh, service stages. Uh, next, I'd like to talk about our research on rela reliability of power electronics devices. Um, power, -tronic, a power electronic device such as IGBT use semiconductor technology to control and convert uh, electrical power. And these devices are widely used in high power convert systems such as electrical vehicles and new energy generation systems. Um, in our research, the typical electrical rating of the considered IGBT module are 1,200 volt, 450 ampere, which are commonly used in electrical vehicle. During the functional operation of an IGBT module, the mismatch in the a CTE of the packaging materials causes a junction temperature swing in an IGBT chip, which can induce thermal mechanical stress and trigger and trigger failure of the IGBT module. Um, well, mechanisms such as bond well lift off, uh, aluminum metallization reconstruction, or solder cracking. To study the reliability of the IGBT module, uh, we established a test bench uh, subjects IGBT module to power cycling with different levels of temperature swings and uh, frequency. Both DC or PWM load ex experiments can be performed on this bench. Uh, next, I'd like to introduce the work about the aluminum reconstruction. Um, it is currently one of the major causes of IGBT module failure. Therefore, investigating the corre uh, correlations between the reconstruction of aluminum metallization layer and the electrical performance of IGBT module is necessary. Um, in, during this study, uh, the power cycling test, uh, the, the junk the junction temperature swings is 6 degrees centigrade. Um, 
forced SEM observations were carried out on the aluminum metallization layer, then the roughness change in the surface of aluminum metallization layer before and after the test was measured using AFM. Next, we measure the change in the aluminum metallization layer resistance with an electrical four-point probe method. Uh, finally, FIB was applied, and a cross-section observations were performed by taking images across the thickness of the aluminum metallization layer. Uh, this is the SEM images of the aluminum metallization layer after different numbers of power, power cycles. Uh, substantial reconstruction of the aluminum metallization layer during power cycling was observed before aging, the aluminum metallization layer surface shows a regular structure with transistor at each uh, circular feature. The, uh, the aluminum green boundaries are clearly visible in the initial test with the increasing number of cycles. The aluminum metallization surface uh, decreases. After 100,000 cycles, reconstruction of the aluminum metallization layer is clearly visible. Extrusions appear uh, close to the aluminum green boundaries and form long folded strips. After 164,000 cycles, these long folded uh, strips become denser and uh, wider around the transistor cells. The aluminum metallization layer surface has an increasing roughness. After 193,000 cycles, the aluminum metallization layer reconstruction is significant, and almost all the transistor cells are hidden by deformed aluminum grains. The cross section of the aluminum metallization layer in various aged stage were milled with FIB. Grooves are present at the green boundaries in the heavily cycled samples. Intergranular cracks clearly developed. These cracks uh, propagate from the surface down to the transistor region or spread along the green boundaries par uh, parallel to the surface during aging. These cracks modify the current path, inducing a change in the aluminum metallization layer resistance. Okay, this, uh, this is the 3D surface topography AF, AFM images of uh, the aluminum metallization layer obtained for the cent central area of IGBT chips, aged for different number of cycles. Uh, three roughness values, the arithmetical mean roughness of the surface, uh, the root mean scroll roughness of the profile, RQ, and the average distance between two neighboring asperities, lambda, were measured with AFM to characterize the surface of aluminum metallization layer. Um, this figure shows shows the surface roughness of three different scanning areas across 12 of IGBT chips subjected to different number of cycles. Initially, the surface roughness um, the surface roughness values of different test position uh, have only minor variations. When the number of cycles increases to 100,000 cycles, the surface roughness of, of the aluminum metallization layer increases dramatically, dramatically at all test positions. However, the reconstructed uh, aluminum metallization layer is not uniformly distributed across the IGBT chip. Uh, reconstruction occurs more rapidly in the central region resulting in a relatively high surface roughness in this area. Uh, this figure summarizes the aluminum metallization layer resistance distribution for each test position on the IGBT chips with different aging cycles. Initially, the resistance of different test position on the same IGBT chip or the resistance of different chips are 
are almostly the same. Um, after the power cycling increases to 100,000 cycles, a significant increase in the resistance is observed at all test positions. Similar to that observed for a constructed aluminum metallization layer, the resistance involution is not uniform. Uh, is not uniform across the IGBT chip. Uh, the resistance is clearly uh, higher in the center of the chip. Um, this figure show a clear relationship between the electrical resistance and the aluminum metallization layer surface morphology. To further understand the effect of the root mean screw roughness of the profile RQ and the average distance between two neighboring uh, asperities, uh, lambda on the resistance of the aluminum metallization layer. An effective numerical, a numerical simulation was applied. Eight models with different morphology parameters were constructed to examine the influence of the aluminum, aluminum metallization layer morphology involution on its resistance. The morphology parameters have a strong effect on the resistance. On the one hand, increasing RQ increases the length of the current pass and thus lead to an increase in the resistance. On the other hand, increasing lambda reduces the aluminum metallization layer uh, resistance due a decrease in the current pass. Okay. Next part of work is about the, um, an experimental investigation and a finite element analysis on the thermal and the mechanical behaviors of IGBT modules under various co operating conditions. Here, uh, both uh, DC and uh, PWM load experiments were conducted. And in addition, infrared RR infrared camera were used to acquire the temperature distribution over the IGBT chip surface. Uh, a multiple time delayed uh, acquisition method is applied to provide full free measurements of the uh, replicable junction temperature. Mm. These figures show the evolution of temperature in the IGBT chip over time under the DC and the PWM test condition. The first difference in the junction temperature results is that the jun junction temperature involution over time under the PWM test condition does not monotonically increase like that under the DC test condition. Second, the maximum junction temperature, temperature that can be reached under the PWM test condition is far from that achieved under the DC test condition. Additionally, uh, the, this figure show the junction temperature distribution over the IGBT chip and the projections under the uh, under the DC and PWM test conditions obta obtained by infrared camera measurement. The junction temperature distribution is relatively, relatively uniform across the surface of the IGBT chip under the DC test condition. While the temperature gradient under the PWM test condition is clearly greater than that observed under the DC test condition. Um, an electrical, thermal, mechanical finite element analysis of the IGBT model is employed to determine the stress in the interconnections of the IGBT model induced by junction temperature fluctuation. Uh, this, uh, this figure gives the junction temperature distribution of the IGBT model based on the Electrothermal finite element analysis and uh, 
the junction temperature distribution in the IGBT chips predicted by the finite element analysis corresponds to that obtained from the infrared camera measurement. Under both test conditions, the, compress the compressive stresses concentrate at the interfaces of the bound wells and the aluminum metallization layer due to the large CTE mismatch among the bound well aluminum metallization layer and IGBT chip. The value of the maximum stress in the DC test are lower than that in the PWM, PWM test. This difference in maximum stress is due to the different maximum junction temperature that can be reached under the two test conditions. A periodic thermo, thermal stretch can be observed under the PWM test condition, which is induced by the junction temperature fluctuations. This repeated stress variation in the interface between the bound wells and the aluminum metallization layer may lead to fatigue failure of the bound wells. Uh, the final part of the work is about a uh, lifetime prediction method of IGBT module. Um, the, B, the, PC, the power cycling test is time consuming and costly and usually takes a couple of weeks or even months for one test condition. Uh, therefore, an urgent need exists in the industrial community to find an accurate and efficient method to predict the lifetime of IGBT modules. Um, an, an improved lifetime prediction method of IGBT modules is proposed here. First, the power loss of IGBTs is calculated from the current through the module by the power loss model. Then the junction temperature of IGBT is derived from the power, law, power loss by the electrothermal model. Third, a degradation model to describe the RCE change induced by bound well damage is proposed and the increased RCE is calculated by substituting the uh, junction temperature into the degradation model. Then the IGBT power loss is modified by feedbacking the updated RCE into the power loss model. The modified power loss is greater um, because the updated RCE is greater which leads to a higher junction temperature and further increases the RCE. Thus, the self-accelerating effect in the bond well damage process is considered in the proposed method. Um, this lifetime prediction method was implemented in the MATLAB Simulink, uh, the power cycling test under various test conditions were conducted to verify the method. Mm, to prove the validness of the proposed lifetime prediction method, uh, several commonly used uh, lifetime models were selected, and the comparison shows that the method can feasibly evaluate the lifetime of IGBT modules and various test conditions, which is quite helpful for the industrial community. Okay, that's all. Thank you very much.